But we turned around, and this thing was just so involved. So I'm not sure if there was some sort of explosion, but there are now three to four of these large areas of flames and thick smoke. And you can see firefighters staying back somewhat. I'm not sure if they know exactly what they're dealing with here. Typically they would. What they do, you know, they don't really have off time, these firefighters. They will go out to different structures, see what's going on in those structures, what's being manufactured. They'll check to make sure that they're meeting safety codes for fires. They have correct we have a question. Detectors. We're watching the firefighters on the roof, and they know what they're doing. But, you know, to us, the lay people, we think they're standing very, very close to those, those holes. How do they know that, that the roof is well, the secure? They have, they have sounding instruments where they can detect mm. the, uh, it's the uh, it's structural integrity of those, uh, those areas of the rooftop that are not burning. But what now they're doing, they're, you know, surgically attacking this fire. They're going to cut holes now in different areas because what they want to do is ventilate that building the best they can because there is a tremendous amount of fire and heat inside that building. All we're seeing is what's burning on top here coming through the rooftop here.